In this video, I will be reviewing two battery testers I own. The first is the Matson BT521. It is used to test 6 and 12 volt battery systems, 12 and 24 volt starting charging systems, and will test all lead acid batteries, including start and stop batteries. It also has an integrated printer on board. The other battery tester also a Matson brand is the BTJ41 it's a digital battery tester to be used on 12 volt lead acid batteries suitable for batteries from 2 mRs to 200 mRs generally the mR rating is used for deep cycle batteries the battery tester on the right the BT521 it uses several standards including SAE uh, which has the CCA cold cranking apps. The test will involve two batteries. The first is a battery with the CCA 550 amps and 60 mR rating. This is a battery in my Kia Cerato S 2.0 liter petrol car. The second battery I will be testing is a 720 cold cranking amps with 95 mRs. It is a battery in my Mitsubishi Triton 3.2 liter diesel four wheel drive utility truck. Let's start with an unboxing of the BT521. So there's a user manual there's the tester there's a spool of uh, new print paper to replace when you finish with the one that's in the printer close the box and we'll just put it to a side and here's the tester there is a connector on the, in the middle of the cable allows you to join I guess different types of terminals in this case it's just got the crocodile clips I just put the rubber sleeves around there the crocodile clips are well made strong tension big jaws and uh, if you look at the jaws they really are pretty rugged good spring tension this is the uh, BT521 lift the lid and there's the print spool you can replace the paper nothing complicated on the back if you open the lid allows you to put four AA batteries in this case I've used Fujitsu low self discharge rechargeable batteries and I've just put this sloth there because it uh, just makes it easy for me to pull and um, extract the batteries. Put that back. Even though you've got batteries in there, the device does not turn on until you've connected the crocodile clips to the um, battery terminals you want to test so we'll do that now I should also mention that the uh, test meter comes supplied with a ruggedized rubber uh, surround you just wrap it over the uh, plastic test meter and um, I think it's great it gives it a lot of um, external protection find a good play to connect the uh, negative terminal and then connect the uh, positive once it's connected you see that the meter turns on and it shows you that the uh, battery has a 12.44 volt reading um, if I press forward I can choose different 
test options this is to test a battery that has start and stop capability that's to do a ordinary battery test I can choose the language if I press enter in this case I've selected English I can also do a system test this is where the test involves um, starting the engine to monitor what the alternator is putting through the, the battery we will do that later but at, at this time I'm just going to select battery test press enter select the type of battery is it regular flooded or is it a gel VL LA battery or is it AGM spiral or is it AGM flat plate this is just a plain lead acid regular flooded so I press enter then you can choose the rating there's SAE there's IEC DIN GIS EN we'll go back to SAE because in Australia battery ratings use SAE so press enter and it says 610 SAE that was a previous battery um, I'll just have a look that's 550 amps CCA co-cranking amps so SAE and co-cranking amps are the same so I'm gonna change the capacity to 550 by pressing the back to reduce it 550 there I've got 550 now press enter and it's begun testing great it says good and pass 12.43 volts actually it's got 552 SAE fantastic press enter again it says IR5 internal resistance 5.58 milliohms shall I print the results I'll just do a print to show you there that's the printout it shows the um, state of charge 12.44 volts the rating 550 SAE what was measured was 552 internal resistance 5.58 milliohms and uh, the battery is good and passed state of health 100% state of charge 80% and um, you can write the date and time this is tested so this is meant to be used by commercial um, operators so we'll just rip that off and press back say no and comes back to this battery test in the manual it actually show you there are five possible test results the first is good and pass the second is good but you do need to recharge it the third is recharge it and then retest it the fourth is bad and replace the fifth is bad cell and replace so that's a pretty good classification of the possible conditions a battery could be in now instead of doing a standard battery test I'll press forward and select to do a system test this is where it incorporates um, the test of the alternator whether it's the battery is receiving a charge press enter and it says turn off loads and start engine so I'm just gonna go to the car and do that now as you can tell the engine is now running and the meter shows cranking volts 10.34 volts and that's normal so that's good I'm just press enter to proceed it says press enter for charging test I'm press enter again tells me to make sure all loads are off yes I've got all loads off there's no aircon there's no radio there's no lights tells me that alternator idle volts is 14.5 volts and that's normal so that's good 
Now it wants me to turn on the loads and press enter. So I'm just gonna pause here and turn on all loads including lights and air conditioning. I now have turned on all the headlights, high beam, air conditioning, internal lights um, and the fan as per the instructions and press enter and it says it's detected ripple 0.24 volts but that's normal that's good alternator load volts 14.37 volts is normal and the test is over turn off the loads and engine so I'm gonna turn them off now all loads are off engine is off press enter print results yes I'll print the results and show you what the printout says it's there that's what the printout says tells me the cranking volts is normal tells me the charging tests are normal tells me the diet ripple is normal that's fantastic so as you can see this is a very simple uh, test equipment to use and it is uh, very thorough for lead acid batteries I'm going to unbox the Matson BTJ41 so we can see what's inside. A menu. Put it one side. There's the test meter. And as I said, um, it is manufactured by the company DHC and two very heavy duty um, crocodile clips with strong tension. By the way, this meter also has a ruggedized heavy duty rubber sleeve all around so that you can wrap the uh, plastic meter in it. That's good. Now, the first thing it says is uh, replace internal 9 volt dry battery. Okay, so thinks my um, internal battery in there is weak, right? That's interesting, so um, I'll have to fix that now, right? I have a good 9 volt battery, internal battery in here, so. Um, looks like I can proceed with the test so when I've connected the cables to the battery terminals the meter displays up it shows me um, I need to choose the type of battery I'm going to test valve regulated lead acid gel lead acid absorbed glass matte lead acid or just the um, seal lead acid if I press the down arrow it gives me another choice standard SLI which is start lighting and ignition this type uh, this particular mode is intended only for heavy duty commercial trucks so for the car I will just go back to this choice where the SLA battery um, is the most applicable and by the way um, VLLA these are usual um, deep cycle batteries gel AGM so this is um, well suited to deep cycle lead acid batteries I'm just gonna press enter here I now have to set the capacity so if I press up and down you see increases or decreases the uh, capacity reading so this battery is rated as 60 60 mR so I'm just gonna pump this up till it reaches 60 It is now at 60 mR, I'll press enter and it's finished the test, tells me it's good but I should recharge it, it's 
12.44 volts um, it's measured it as 528 SAE cold cranking amps and um, the battery rating is 550 um, cold cranking amps press enter it's concluded battery test so this is much simpler than the BT521 from the user manual you see there are five possible results from using the uh, BTJ41 test meter it's a good and pass or it's good but you should recharge it or should recharge it and then test it again or it's bad replace the whole battery or it's bad there's a bad cell replace the whole battery the BTJ41 model only performs a battery test uh, it does not carry out any system test which incorporates the alternator um, uh, charging voltage there is another model the BTJ42 and that includes the uh, system test I will now use this two meters to test this battery which is in my four-wheel drive diesel utility truck this battery has 720 co-cranking amps and 95 amp hours meter connected to the battery terminal the battery is measured as 12.44 volts press enter I can choose the type of battery again if I go forward it goes VILA gel AGM spiral AGM flat plate but this is a simple regular lead acid flooded battery so press enter and choose the SAE cold cranking amps capacity in this case this battery has 720 cold cranking amps I'm going to select SAE press forward to increase the rating I now have the rating at 720 SAE or, or which means CCA press enter it's begun the testing tells me battery is 12.43 volts 7 10 SAE cold cranking amps the condition is good and pass press enter internal resistance 4.34 milliamps I won't press the re print results because uh, I've shown you earlier what the printout looks like. Now I'll proceed to do a system test. I'll start doing the system test. Turn off loads and start engine. It's detected cranking volts 10.22. Rate set is normal. Press enter. All loads are off, idle voltage is normal, now it wants me to turn on loads. I've turned on headlights, air conditioning, internal lights. Ripple voltage is good, alternator voltage is good. Test is over, I won't print the results. Now we use the BTJ41 meter to test the uh, four-wheel drive utility truck battery. So I've already connected the terminals to the battery. It shows the meter shows 12.8 volts. We can start the battery test, and I'll just press enter. So this battery would be a uh, seal lead acid the other choice is a standard SLI that's a start lighting ignition battery in this meter it's intended to be used for heavy duty commercial trucks so we will stick with this option press enter the capacity is 95 MR so I'll increase the rating
it is now on 95 mR so I press enter and it's testing and the results are good and pass 12.78 volts 701 cold cranking amps press enter and that completes the test and this particular model of the meter does not test system which means it does not test the alternator charging system so it's a very simple to use uh, meter I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more